Hey guys, uh, this is Renee. I just wanted to show you a mixed media project that I've just recently finished. Um, I don't have a name for it or anything because I'm really bad at naming things, so I'll just call it mixed media project number one. Yeah. <clears throat> so what I did was I, w I kind of wanted like an ethereal. Um, maybe like a, a bit of a fey feeling like I don't know so what I did was I used tissue paper to make the tree and <clears throat> um, well first I, I used some gesso to prime the canvas and then I used uh, I put down I had this paper some of this uh, old book paper down but um it all got covered up, so there's no words left that you could see. But you can still kind of see the texture from the paper. And then I also, just let me zoom in actually, instead of me picking it up. Okay. So, um, you can see that there's some texture here. And what these are, these are some Halloween feathers that I had kicking around. And I also used some more up here. And there's some right here as well. And then right here, these are actually seed beads that I put down with my tacky glue. So I just blobbed a whole bunch of this there and then I um, just pushed some beads into it. And I let them dry and then I coated them with some um, Mod Podge or fake Mod Podge anyway. And then I just sprinkled some um, seed beads kind of falling down here. And this on these, I just used the Mod Podge. And it actually, it's pretty strong and, and they stuck. Um, so I put down a coat of Mod Podge, then I put the beads down, then I kind of painted them over with Mod Podge. Um, and you can just see that I used a, an assortment of some homemade flowers. Uh, these right here, this one and this one. These are Dollarama flowers. Those are, these are the big ones here. And, uh, oops. These are the little ones. Only I used white ones, but those are what I used. <clears throat> then I just used some buttons I got from the dollar store. This is a homemade flower. This is a homemade flower. Uh, these are some sprays I got from Pipers. And, if you guys don't know, and you probably don't, Piper's is a, um, it's a Newfoundland chain, and I think it's really actually only in St. John's. It's like a discount store, um, uh, so that's, these sprays are these ones right here. So they're, what they are is, they're a napkin ring, and I bought them specifically for crafting, and I just cut off some of the, uh, of the sprays. Um, so that's that. This ring right here came from a necklace that I got, I think I got it at Ardeen's, um, in the mall. They have like those, you know, you get ten necklaces for ten bucks sometimes, so they're a dollar a piece. Uh, and sometimes I think they're even cheaper. So I just took it off, it's just a gold ring that I ended up painting. Um, what I did, I kind of just painted everything with the Mod Podge, so I made it white. And I just kind of repaint it over. So over here there's more buttons. This flower right here, this is the big Dollarama flowers. So they spread out quite nice because I looked at them here and I was like, oh really? But then once you spread them out, they look quite nice. And then there's just some, uh, this is lace back here. Another one of those sprays. I painted this one a slightly different color. And then, so there's the tree. You can see that it has, let me just turn it. So there's a lot of texture with it. You can see there. You're probably wondering what these are. This is actually, let me zoom out again. Hey, okay, so these, these little puff balls are actually this yarn. And you can get this at Walmart. I got this one in particular. I got this at Michael's when they had their yarn on sale. And I just thought it was super cute. So I put it in for some texture. Um, yeah, and these right here, these are actually, um, 
they have lace table runners at my Dollarama. So I just picked one of those up. And I mean, it was probably about four feet long by about a foot, a foot to a foot and a half wide. So I just cut some pieces off it and stuck it onto my project. There's one here and there's one up here. Um, so let me just adjust my camera a little. So I'm really happy with the way this came out. Um, oh, the blue. Uh, then the paint. I painted it. So <clears throat> I used for the blue, I used... Um, well, these are the paints that I used. I'll show you all of them. So I used this Turquoise Craft Smart paint. That's the main color blue that you see. And I mixed it, uh, some of it with vanilla. And the vanilla is also painted down here a lot, so <clears throat> in different combinations of. And then there's some ivory on the project as well. And then I borrowed these for my sister. Um, <clears throat> it's the Folk Art Silver and the Folk Art Gold. And what I use those for is I used it for the sprays. And I use it for the ring and the chain and on some of the buttons. Some of the buttons are metallic. And then I also... Um, at one point I know that I sprayed uh, some homemade glimmer mist on this. But um, you can't really tell now. Uh, the gold I painted on the tree. The tree is also painted with a mixture of gold and brown. And the brown came from... Uh, this right here, it is the Adron deck, Adiron, whatever. Ha! I can't pronounce it right now, guys. Anyway, it's this Espresso acrylic paint dabber. And what I did is I just, I dabbed it on my acrylic, um, uh, mixing plate, and then I just put a dab of this on top, mix it together. And then that's what I painted the tree with. And you can see it's a gorgeous gold color. Um, and then I also um, mixed some of the blue with the silver. Just a little bit of the silver. And that created kind of a bit more depth for the blue. <clears throat> and then when I was done, I was kind of... Uh, it, it looked a bit flat to me. So what I did was I just took a bit of Distress ink. Um and kind of just mushed it on top of the paint so it was a little bit darker in places. And then I coated, when I was done painting everything, I coated it all in uh, uh, Mod Podge. And so that gave it that nice shiny uh, look. So I'm pretty happy with the way it came out. It is my first mixed media project. Um, so I'm really happy with this and I've got another one planned uh, in the works now. Oh, I forgot. Look. There's a little bit of that same doily up here in the corner, too. Just for a bit of extra texture. Alright, guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, have a great day. And guys, give it a try. Make one. Make one and post it so I can see. Thanks, guys. Bye.